this is actually a record year of revenue for the UC system, and the problem is they just don't want to spend the money on instruction. So what they're doing instead— How could it be a record year? They brought in a lot of money from the federal stimulus money. They um, had a record year in their research grants. They had a record year in medical profits. Um, most of their money is brought in by selling parking, housing, and medical services throughout California. <laughs> so they had a record year in that revenue, and they had a record year in grants. And so they actually, last year, they ended up getting uh, more money than before from the state because they got the federal stimulus money. Um, what is President Yudof's strategy? I think his main strategy is basically to blame the state for everything while they try to privatize the university. And a very telling moment came. After the UC's budget was cut by the state, the UC turned around and lent $200 million to the state. And people said, how can you lend $200 million to the state while you're giving faculty furloughs and while you're raising student fees and while you're cutting classes? And he said, when we lend money to the state, we make a profit from interest. But when we spend money just on teachers' salaries, that money just disappears. So from his perspective, instruction is a losing proposition, and the university should just try to get out of the business of basically teaching students and hiring faculty. What's going now is California right now has the second lowest rate of students who go directly from high school to a four-year university. It's the only, only Mississippi has fewer students. And what we're afraid is, with these fee increases, what they're talking about doing is raising the fees and basically lowering enrollment and increasing the amount of out-of-state students. So California next year will be have the lowest rate of students who go directly from high school to um, college in the entire country. And the issue of uh, the non-teaching staffs, the administration? Um, that the administration keeps on expanding and growing. They keep on hiring more and more administrators. We're not exactly sure what they do. And our joke at University of California is when two administrators walk into a room, three always walk out. <laughs> so we never know exactly what they do, but there's just more and more of them. So what kind of cuts are they suffering, the administrators? Um, the administrators are cutting are virtually no cuts. In fact, um, the same meeting when they decided to raise student fees, they voted on millions of dollars of increased um, salaries and special bonuses to administrators and to the highest paid people. Bob Samuels, um, the implications of what's happening here in California for the rest of the country? Well, basically what we're seeing, especially at the major universities is more and more that only um, upper-middle-class, upper-class students can go to them. And they're privatizing these institutions. And the institutions—what happened about 1980 was that states started to cut their funding of higher education, and so universities looked for other ways of making money. And so they concentrated on raising funds and doing research, and especially research funded by corporations and the federal government. And so, basically, now, at a lot of universities, instruction only represents about 10 percent of the budget, and so it's a minor aspect of the universities. And most people don't know that, that universities, in some ways, are just kind of fronts for investment banks and um, investments, because the, at the University of California, the regents, who are the main financial overseers of the university, are appointed by the governor for 12-year terms. And most of the regents now are Republicans who not only have voted against taxes and had, have not only tried to defund higher education, and they're the ones in charge in many ways, but they are also business people chosen by Republican governors. And those are and they are real estate people, they're investment bankers. The new head of the the chair of the UC Regents is um, the former head of Wachovia. And um, he actually they sold um, subprime student loans, right? And they profit from the student loans. And also they push the UC into investing heavily into mortgage-backed securities and into real estate right when those were tanking. And so I I really think that the uh, Board of Regents basically is forcing the UC or motivating the UC to make a lot of incredibly bad investments. And when the investments turn bad, then they try to take it out on the students, on the faculty and the workers. Uh, I want to uh, just end with this USA Today latest study of compensation revealing that at least 25 college head football coaches make 
$2 million or more this season, slight more, more than uh, double the number two years ago. Um, the uh, UC Berkeley faculty last week voted a resolution to stop subsidizing the athletics department. Apparently, um, UC Berkeley has been paying subsidizing out of student fees $3 million to $4 million a year. What most people don't know is most athletic departments lose money, and the big departments lose a lot of money, and student fees often go to paying for athletic departments. And also, we found out that student fees go um, as collateral to um, for construction bonds.